Some of the next five seconds your Jonesy will delete your account. Welcome back everybody, thank you guys so much for stopping by. In today's video we are going to go through the sweatiest skins in all of Fortnite ever came into the game. And we are going to give names and these are the 25 sweatiest skins in all of Fortnite. I am talking about the skins that are gonna make you do this, but not this. So to start off with number 25 spot, we have Kuno. Kuno was released back in Chapter 1 Season 8, but still she is a pretty sweaty skin as she is used by one and only one YouTuber or pro as a main skin and Kuno is not the most sweaty skin but you can say it's a little bit sweaty but today Kuno is still a very sweaty skin and she will be in the future till she is forgotten by everyone so what I mean by forgotten by everyone is that when a skin gets created some seasons ago, it is a little bit popular since some these seasons ago are past. And Kuno, alright, she's not gonna remain that popular in like five seasons. What do you think? Is she in like in 2022 or 2023? She will be too popular because she was created back in 2019. So, let's just do 24 spot. So in number 24 spot, Please, guys, do not be that I like surprised, but this is the Recon Expert. Recon Expert was released back in Chapter 1, Season 1, and she was a part of the item shop as she was one of the only skins coming into the item shop in Chapter 1, Season 1. But today she did come back, so I did want to mention her. She is a pretty sweaty skin. She's still used by a lot of players. She's still used by Rift as his main skin. And yeah, it's a, li it's a little bit sweaty, you can say that. But in, in fact, some other skins are so less sweaty than her. So yeah, Recon Expert is one of the sweatiest skins in all of Fortnite. But, in the number 23 spot, I feel like a lot of people agree with this, but it is Sunbird from back in Season 8. Sunbird, back in the day, she was a little bit popular, but now, bro, it, it is like she became huge by becoming just... When Fortnite added her the purple edit style, and that style, that there's the purple without the mask people were going crazy to buy her everyone was buying her most people now in Fortnite do have her I personally did not because sadly the day I got the V-Bucks I couldn't get her because she wasn't in the shop but it is like Sunbird became so popular from become from in the start she was pretty much nothing but Sunbird back in season 8 she was introduced and now we have a pretty sweaty skin by back in season 8. But guys, in the number 22 spot, we have Sparkle Specialist from back in season 2, Battle Pass. Alright, so she was a Battle Pass skin at the same time Black Knight was inside the Battle Pass. So, not a lot of people pretty much have her because it was season 2, it was 2017. But guys, it was when Fortnite first got created, it's not your fault, but what we do have is some other reskins in Ch Season X, as we did get a lot of reskins from back and from other battle passes, and she was another skin, I don't remember exactly its name, but it was Sparkle Specialist, but a reskin which is a little bit better than her, I guess. But Sparkle Specialist is one of my favorite skins remaining still, and I wish people could get this still because it's such a cool and clean and sweaty skin. But guys, number 21, we do have Dynamo, and I hate this skin with all my heart. I hate this skin, I hate this color scheme, I hate everything on it, but it is sweaty. Oh my god, it is so sweaty. Mongrel actually did everything. And Mongrel did the job, as we pretty much say right now. And now she is sweaty just because of Mongrel. I don't understand what he found in her. I hate the skin. I hate everything on it. I don't want everything to come. 
yeah bro it's 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 bad it's sweaty but yes it's bad but this is about the sweaty skins and not the good skins in fortnite if it was the bad skins all right she was gonna be in the number five spot or something like that but yeah pretty much these are the sweaty skins and i have to say she is sweaty but guys in number 20 spot uh, sadly she was 400 dollars because you had to buy nintendo switch but this is wildcat Wildcat was introduced back in Chapter 2 Season 4, not a long time ago, it's like 5 months or something like that. But guys, it's alright, I guess she's good, because a lot of people buy her. But uh, what I do recommend is buying the Nintendo Switch, only if you don't have any other platforms to play. And that was $400 to buy, no, no, not, for, not 400 V-Bucks. $400 because you had to buy a switch oh my god why why did you have to buy a switch to get such a good skin but in my opinion she became popular just because of typical gamer because he uses it and one of his main skins but guys in the number 19 spot we have manic from back in season x all right i have to say the skin is definitely not one of my favorites it's not i do not hate it that much but I personally will buy it one day but it's not one of my favorite skins I will only buy it because it's sweaty and I feel like most people do this I mean it's not something special it's something regular and not creative and yeah that's pretty weird because this skin is not that good looking but you have to say it is sweaty it is used by Cypher PK as his main skin because it has the Oni mask but, and here we go to the next spot. But guys, in the number 18 spot, one of my favorite skins in the game, so sweaty, it is Isabelle. Alright, about the Isabelle, Justy was released back in Chapter 2, Season 6. I mean, this is not bad, this was this season. It was about, like, uh, one month ago or something like that. I don't know, it's uh, today's one month ago as I said, but I don't have much to say about this skin, it's so good looking, it's so sweaty, what else do you have to put in the skin? But in the number 17 spot we have Bonnie Brawler and mm, alright, I'll have to tell you about it because she was ba released back in Shutter 1 season 3. Okay, not a bad looking skin, I guess. I did not like the first style at all. Uh, yeah, if you run into the skin, just ran, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. That's all I tell you if you run into the skin. Except that guy's a noob and he just bought it because he likes it. But most people buy it because it's sweaty. I mean, I don't know. It's not such a perfect skin. But the second that it's style, alright, it is sweaty. Um, yeah, let's go to the next spot. Alright guys, in the number 16 spot, we do have Marked Marauder from Season 9, and it is in the Bonner Brigade set. I love this skin, it's so sweaty, it, it, it does not have any weird ability in it, but it has that so clean and so perfect customizable ability. Oh my god, you can give it whatever color you like, whatever color you want, and... This is done with every single skin of the Bonner Brigade set. But guys, we are not done yet. This skin, you can give it whatever Bonner you want and whatever color you want. But guys, let's go into the next one. Alright guys, and now into number 15, we're getting into the sweaty skins. And we have Whiteout and she is back after season 5. Actually, she is... Uh, she was introduced back in season 5 and right now we have her as a pretty sweaty skin. Actually, she wasn't that sweaty till she got that no helmet edit style and she did become 10 times sweatier than the normal. So, that leads us to the point that Whiteout is the 15 spot. Alright, in the 14th spot we get all the superhero skins as they do have that customizable ability, love them. Love all, they are legendary and they're 200 V-Bucks off the normal legendary price. Love it, love it, love it, but I will focus on the Jultara. 
This is one of my favorite skins. Uh, sadly, you can't use the full white or the full black style. But, yeah, it's such a clean skin. Let's go into the next one. Alright, guys, so at the number 13 spot, we have the Rook. And it was from Season 5. And she was in the battle pass, I think. She was a uh, high tier, like 80 something, I think. I don't really remember, but I do remember she was very high in tiers. I think it was 84 or 86. But yeah, I do like her actually. I did like her since the start of season 5, but all I did not like that much was that she had those glasses. Those glasses were making me not loving her, not liking her, not loving her as a skin, nothing, 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 nothing. I didn't like her that much because of the glasses, but if there was a selectable style without the glasses, oh my gosh, she would be perfect. Alright, this is a harsh one, I love it. It is one of my favorite skins in Fortnite, it is the ruby skin in the number uh, 12 spot. But I wanted to talk about her a little bit less because I do like it a lot. It is a pretty sweaty skin. But guys, she is also my main skin. So yeah, I love her. I love her. I, I love the color. I love that black and the uh, like deep and like blackish, uh, reddish uh, red. I, I love it. I love everything in her. Oh my god, I want to use it all the time but I have a lot of I have lots of skins that I haven't used that much but guys it is a perfect skin in my opinion alright all right, all right, we get into the sweatiest stand we are in the number 11 spot oh my god that skin is so oh my god I do not like it that much but it is so sweaty it is the chaos agent a chapter 2 season 1 skin it was, uh, this season it, it couldn't be introduced a little bit like, um, before it's introduced date because, uh, we did see Ghost and Shadow in, uh, Chapter 2 Season 1 for the first time and he was in the Shadow team, if you don't already know, you can see a lot of marks on his body and his suit, but, yeah, not a lot to talk about him, but it is so sweaty. And guys, in the 10th spot, we have Jennifer Walters from the Season 14 or Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. It was a Marvel season, you had to own the Battle Pass and level up to tier, I think, 21. Oh no, level 21. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused of telling that you had to level up tiers, but yeah, Chapter 1 has, yeah, has been perfect. But, uh, alright. She was a uh, very sweaty skin at the time. She's still a little bit sweaty. She will remain uh, like two seasons uh, more, but I don't think it will, it will remain like a bunch of time. Look, at this is my opinion. This is my opinion, guys. Uh, tell me what you think. Don't cut my head off uh, in the comments, please. And the eyes at the number nine spot, we have the soccer skins. I want to focus on the poised playmaker a little, a little bit more. I do love the Police Playmaker more than all of those, but do I do like all of those skins, but I do recommend Post Playmaker the most. Such clean skins, I love those, they're so sweaty, yeah, you should pick those up because they're kind of rare, I mean, I'm talking about the old ones, the new ones, uh, I don't like them that much, I like the old ones a little bit more, um, alright. The new ones are not trash, too. And the last skin bundle we are going to go over are the Mogul Masters. They do deserve the 8th spot, as you can see on screen right now. But, guys, uh, they did actually get introduced in Chapter 1, Season 2. Or Season 2, yeah, without anything else. But... Since then, I mean, my favorite one is the China version. I do like it so much. I do not know how to, like, say that I don't like those skins, but... Mm, I didn't know what to say. I mean, they're not my favorite, but I can't say they're bad. Yeah, most likely the China version is the best for the most people because it's the most colorful. It has the... 
yellow, that uh, orange, and that uh, like the red. Uh, the, those are my favorite colors. So mm, yeah, pretty much you can understand what I talk about. All right, I'm gonna do a quick break of my regular number spots, and I didn't wanna go over two skins that are being talked a lot about being sweaty yeah they're the crystal and the aura they're two so sweaty skins i love both of those but guys i did not want to talk about those that much because you know they're sweaty they don't have to be in the list so I did not give them a number spot but i did actually give them a position so after those two skins we have a number seven spot to continue our list we have harley Quinn, not a lot of people did actually suspect that, but it is Harley Quinn. You may do not think so, but it is a very sweaty skin. I do love it so much. It is such a sweaty skin, especially. I love its first style. I don't know what's wrong with it. Nothing's wrong with it. I love it. I don't want to do anything on it. I just love it. It's such a clean skin. It deserves the number seven spot guys at the number six spot we have the travis scott using uh that you know that astronomical event he came by that he will probably make returns soon as we have him in the files back but i don't think so because he just came for that uh, like uh I just came for the concert because he was doing a collab with fortnite i don't know why they think they're he's gonna come back I just don't think so. Yeah. And let's go into the next one. At the number 5 spot, we've got Midas. And he's used by Mr. Savage. Still, it was a Chapter 2 Season 2 Battle Pass skin. He was a level 100. You couldn't lock him in the golden style. Fully golden. The ghost or shadow? I did pick the ghost personally. I mean, the shadow is just a ghost suit. But fully black. Like, it's paint black. I don't know. But Mr. Savage uses the gold one the most in case of Fortnite Pro. So I wanted to mention that. But guys, I do like Midas. So. At the number four spot, we have the Laura Croft. Love this skin. I love its hairstyle too, though. It is a perfect skin. Love the 25th anniversary a little bit more than all. The classic version is the last favorite of mine. But guys. It is a very great skin. If you have the battle pass, you can get all its styles right now. It is available. Guys, we do have that golden style that we're not able to get right now. But we're most likely going to get it in the future. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like it, love it. Yeah, let's get into the next one. As we're getting close to it, and the number three spot, we've got Focus. Uh, I don't really want to talk about this. I mean, I like it. I, I really like it. I know most people don't believe me now, but yes, I do like it. But look, it's something like uh, I don't like that mask on its face. I mean, literally, can you not put some eyes in sweaty skins? Put regular eyes. If you scroll back to Joltra, she doesn't have regular eyes. And why does Focus doesn't? I mean, why does Focus? not have those eyes bro it has just a mask i don't understand what they think about the skin but all right i like it i guess uh, very sweaty and i think it does deserve the number three spot i right, the number two spot actually we do have spark plug oh my god this skin is so perfect i love it i mean the first edit style was not that good at the start that was uh, what made me not liking it that much at the start. But when it got that ink style, oh my god, that skin became such a better skin than, it, than what it was. I mean, if you focus on the first ad style, then you focus on the second one. And if you notice the changes that they have from each other, you're probably gonna notice that you do like the ink one a little bit more that's what I do too and yeah let's get into the at the number one spot we have siren okay this is a very good example of a sweaty skin I like it 
Look, it's not my favorite. I have to say this, but I do like it a lot. Uh, all right, I will be get I will be getting it in some uh, like days or a month, but I do really like this for some reason. I don't know. I mean, it looks like a pirate, but it looks like a pirate that lives in our ages and not in the ages that the pirates live. Uh, but I don't know. Just like the skin a lot, and I think it does deserve the number one spot. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. A like is always appreciated by me. And guys, please don't forget to tell me in the comments what you think about this list. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Do you have any other sweaty skins that I forgot to put in? Tell me what you think, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like. As I said, the like is always appreciated by me. And yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.